Hi, this is Hugh with a review of an oldie but goodie. Uh, this is the Jordan 22. Yes, it's XX2. So there's three numbers instead of XXX1335 that we see these days. That's how old this shoe is. Uh, this is supposed to be, maybe it's because of the number 22, it's supposed to be a design that's inspired by the F-22s, fire, fighter, jet, uh, fighter jets, Raptors, I think that's what they're called. Uh, this little part is supposed to be something that's in the part inspired by the fighter jets. It's shiny like uh, sunglasses or visors and inside you will see, if you can look carefully, you can see the Jumpman logo in bold red. Uh, on, it's more visible to the naked eye under the sun, but this is what just captivated me and I had to have this. Uh, it actually had a normal version and this is the low cut, feel, which feels like a mid cut. But this is when Jordan Brand just started to do weird things like I mean, they already start to do weird things since, uh, I think, since the 18s. Um, so the cushioning is a little bit different from the actual 22s. If you can see, it says air here. There's a pod that's removable. Uh, one is just aerosol, another one is double stack zoom air. Uh, so either of them feel great, but somehow this is just fixated here and the midsole doesn't feel as plush as the, the high versions. Same for the forefoot. They do have what they call podulin is podulin is what they were pushing, but they gave up on that idea. It's sort of like a different density EVA foams, pillars, but you don't really feel much. It's just it's just foam, nothing spectacular. Kind of disappointing. Outsole pattern is great. Uh, the the grooves are very durable, as you can see. It's still there and it's still squeaky and it grips and bites the floor. Uh, the midfoot shank play. They say this is like. Titanium coated or something, but look at this. You can see the plastics all, you know, visibly scraped off. I mean, the, the titanium powders are scraped off and you see the plastics inside. Um, I love the fact that they had this little shiny upper bit that made it look like the uh, Concord 11s. That's one of the appeal, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's got a good fit, but you gotta, uh, it, it's, can't really say something incredibly good about this shoe except they tried to do the replaceable uh, uh, heel cushioning with 21 and 22. 22 also had a very creative, uh, they call it the DNA pattern uh, and the Oslo pattern. I wish Jordan Brand would use that more than just plain old herringbone pattern that's not exactly great. Uh, bring back these. They actually use the same traction pattern for I believe the old school, Jordan old schools which were the low budget Jordan brand shoes that were actually pretty well cushioned and the tractions were good, but the design looked kind of uh, bulky. But I missed those. Those were, those were actually good for playing. So that's 22 for you. Uh, the lows came with a little bit of a lacking cushioning. The Jordan 19 SC uh, is one of my favorites, if not the best basketball shoe that I've, I've, I've worn on court in my life. One of the, yes, one of the. Uh, most importantly, it has a full-length zoom air with a heel zoom air, additional zoom air there. So it's double stacked at the heel and that balances things out nicely. They did try this with other, other models, but with the combined with the midsole material, which was really soft. I don't know what it is, but it was soft enough to complement the zoom air cushioning setup. And the insole was incredible. They had a thick polyurethane type of insole, like the ones they used in the old school original Jordan 11s from the 90s. And it wasn't just the PU insole. They've actually had shock pads with a different density uh, PU materials added to the forefoot and the heel. And that was amazing. Unfortunately, uh, it's not unfortunate. I mean, I wore it for a couple of months and years and they broke down. Like uh, a lot of sweating and a lot of uh, a hardcore wearing for, you know, full court basketball and whatnot. So, yeah. Um, Cushioning is amazing, and the fact that they've actually put decent normal lace loops instead of that weird, uh, very thin fishing, fishing, fishing wire. It, it was very wiry. The the actual 19s had very thin wiry laces, and if you try to pull on them too hard, you're gonna hurt your fingers. And it doesn't really lock down very well. And you already had this uh, cover that you have to work against to tighten your lace loops. And the cover itself, it's you need to lock it down here, and it actually bites into your heel and the kill is a little bit. So it looked cool, but that didn't work. The SE looks uglier than the actual 19, 
actual 19, but it actually works better. It's it just makes more sense. Uh, the outsole, oh my god, the the what do you call that? The outrigger is amazing. The outrigger, as you can tell, it's huge and it's exactly where you need it. And the rubber material is a little bit different. It's more rigid and it's and it's crossing over to this part crisscross so that you won't be twisting it as much. And the spring plate, the carbon plate, it's not just in the midfoot, it stretches all the way here, as you can tell by the exposed outsole. So it was right underneath the outsole and not hindering the cushioning by being underneath your foot. So this is a sensible way to go. Let's hope basketball sneaker makers in the future remember that and not put this right underneath your foot. So this is good. And also the traction itself was very interesting. Uh, it had two different lines going against each other. So if you wore out this outer line, you will see the inner line coming up to serve its purpose. So in these parts, it's all bottomed out, so they're all even, even steep. But actually, actually, they had two layers. So they were actually good when they lasted. Uh, of course, it would help more if the threads were a little bit sharper and the patterns were a little bit more aggressive. So yeah, they did have a retro version of this, the 19, not the 19 SCs. But the 19, I don't know, it's probably because of the different materials they use for the midsole uh, and Maybe they did not put the full length zoom air with that additional heel zoom air. I won't be surprised because you will see a lot of times when it's retro, they're removing something or reducing something because people are buying it as a fashion item more than as a performance basketball wear. So if they do release the 19 SEs, I do hope they try to keep it true to the OG.